So very recently, Nintendo uploaded the advert they'll air during the Super Bowl this weekend to their YouTube channel. A 30 second advert, or just under 2 minutes with the extended cut. While there's not too much new stuff, we did get a look at some cool Breath of the Wild details. As well as this trailer, some new Famitsu scans showed up today, which I plan to cover in another video later on. But without any further ado, let me break down this trailer for you. Alright, so if we break down the Super Bowl trailers down to just the Breath of the Wild stuff, we get five new scenes that we can analyse. The first one is really interesting. We see Link and Zelda apparently amidst a battle, with the princess on the floor and Link standing in a defensive pose with the Master Sword drawn, presumably protecting her. This is actually the same event we see featured on the back of the limited edition Breath of the Wild box set here, though interestingly there's something new. This guy who isn't present on the box art. It's pretty clear that this is one of those guys we saw in the Switch trailer, who I noted could be a Sheikah defector, who's turned the Sheikah eye symbol upside down to represent this. And now we have a similar figure, presumably dead or knocked out, behind Link and Zelda here. Maybe Link has just fought and killed him, but why isn't he on the box art? Could it be spoiler control? There's definitely something funny going on here. Okay, next up, something a bit more straightforward, Link paragliding off a cliff over a great valley. This scene is beautiful, look at the lens flare! I can't make out whereabouts this is in the world from the background, but it's apparently early game footage judging by the amounts of hearts that Link has. Now we get another look at the giant sandworm boss from the Switch trailer, who I noted was very similar to Wind Waker's Mulgura. But now we get this beast's name as Moldura, which is interesting. The mole prefix has been used a few times for worm-like enemies in Zelda, like Moldorm, so it doesn't 100% confirm a connection to Mulgura, though I wouldn't be surprised. We also get a location name for this area as what seems to be North Dragon's Exile. What this could mean is unclear, something to do with the Skyward Sword Dragons maybe, or the Dragon's Mouth noted in this gameplay. Who knows? We also see more of the Sand Walrus pet Link has, and we can now see what the rope's being used for, Link is shield surfing while being pulled through the sand by the walrus, kind of like a sand jet ski. So cool! Okay, here's something I predicted in the past. The Cyclops-like enemy is confirmed as a Henox. Henox and... Henai? Henoxes? A giant Cyclopean monsters, mostly appearing in the Downfall timeline games, beginning with A Link to the Past. In the 2D Zeldas, Henox throw bombs at Link, but in return are very weak to them, so it wouldn't surprise me if the bomb rune with your Sheikah Slate is the best way to defeat this big fella. We also get confirmation that the area in which Link's fighting this guy is called the East Gut Check Rock, whatever that means. But this battle's looking awesome with the fog and the lightning in the background. And also as I called in my top 5 Zelda NES references video, we got a blue variant of the Henox. Assuming this follows the same pattern as the Moblins and Bokoblins, this blue baddie should be a lot tougher than the red counterpart. Scary. Also, I might be mistaken, but it looks to me like Link here is wielding some sort of rapier, a slender thrusting sword. If this is the case, I think this is a really cool new weapon type. And we finish off with something simple. Link, amidst some Hyrule Field ruins, taking on a guardian with bomb arrows. There's really nothing special to analyse here. We can see the bird divine beast on the right, as well as some ruins that could have been a waterfall. Interestingly, one major detail I noticed across the whole trailer was a distinctive lack of HUD features. Comparing this to most gameplay, we're lacking the current rune, button mapping, the weather and temperature gauges, the sound meter, and the minimap. This could be turned off for sake of the trailer, but it could also mean we'll be able to choose a minimal HUD option. It's just something to note. Anyway, that about covers it for Breath of the Wild content in this Super Bowl trailer. Stay tuned for more Breath of the Wild content since there's a lot more on the way. If you liked the video leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Cheers guys and I'll see you next time.